with Nate Custer, Jennifer Pinate, Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott, and your Pig Trail Nation report with Drew Ammon. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. England Dental, quality dentistry with compassion and care. Call us today. At Hardy's, we make our crispy chicken tenders the right way, hand-breaded. So the next time someone tells you there's no wrong way to make chicken, remind them there's also no wrong way to end a friendship. Try our $5.99 chicken tenders combo. Hardy's because it tastes better. If you're wondering what to serve your family this Thanksgiving, then think no further than AQ Chicken. No matter how many are coming, AQ has you covered. Just call our Springdale location today and reserve your Thanksgiving dinner with all the trimmings for one low price. Then just pick it up and heat and serve. Your family will love it. Or just bring the whole family to AQ and we'll serve them exactly what they want. Yes, we'll be open Thanksgiving Day. Make your reservation now for Thanksgiving Day or to order your fully cooked Thanksgiving dinner. Think AQ Chicken this Thanksgiving. Are you the last one to take a shower in the morning? No hot water? Never run out of hot water again. Steve's Plumbing, 479-631-8804, installs tankless water heaters. Mention this ad and receive $100 off installation. I'm a club volleyball player, and I'm pretty good at it. I really like to run and get those tips up and stuff, but when my feet hurt, it just really is bad, and I can't get there because my feet are just this bad pain. I'm like, ow. So I told my mom. She took me into good feet, and I noticed that I've never really had the pain since then, so I really want to be on the women's national team, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that good feet is going to help me get there. My name's Taylor, and that's my good feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Dr. Cheryl Hall has spent over a decade serving the needs of Northwest Arkansas patients. Book now in Bella Vista, the future site of our new state-of-the-art facility. Call 479-254-9662 to book your appointment today. Hall Dermatology and Aesthetics, we are your skin solution. Our blend of honey mustard and barbecue sauce is perfect on chicken tenders. What are you doing? Spill honeycomb on this plant. Oh, I thought you went vegan. Dip into our new honeycomb yeah. sauce. Hardy's because it tastes better. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. Well, we started the day looking gloomy, and unfortunately, we just stayed that way all day long. Look at this time lapse from Mount Sequoia. Not an ounce of sunshine, and actually, with all of this, we actually we really didn't even get too much rain. I hate that it gets dark so early now. That sun doesn't rise until close to 7 a.m., and by 5, we're already dark. Well, even though it's dark, the dreary conditions, they're still sticking around. We actually have fog across the area. 1.7 miles of visibility in Bentonville all the way over to Tahlequah where that fog is starting to set in with those temperatures cooling. They don't have to cool too much. We didn't warm too much today. Average this time of year is 58. We got to 43 in Fayetteville. Didn't feel like it though, did it? A little bit of wind outside from the north. It felt like it was in the 30s all day long. You guys in the River Valley, you got to 50. But keep in mind, this is 20, 25 degrees cooler than where we were yesterday. Because yesterday, plenty of sunshine, nice breeze out of the south. Things started off nicely for the weekend, but today, complete difference because of this front that's moved through. Now the precipitation's really getting out of here. We might still see a little freezing drizzle up north because those temperatures have finally dropped below that freezing point. And we do have those clouds that are so thick, bringing a little bit of mist. That wind out of the north has got things feeling even cooler. It feels like it's below freezing for everybody in northwest Arkansas. You get in the River Valley, even feels like it's below freezing for you all in Fort Smith at 30 degrees. Well, the good news is we got a lot of sunshine coming our way. We just had to make it through today, and now a nice forecast is coming. You wake up tomorrow morning, and it's going to be a cool start to the day, but by lunchtime, we'll be in the low 40s, and we're going to finish the day in the upper 40s with all that sunshine. Now, that doesn't sound like much. We're still a good 10 degrees below average. But that warming trend is going to really start kicking off. You'll notice it a little warmer on Tuesday. And by Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, those temperatures just keep inching up. And it ends up being a nice week. Tomorrow morning, first day of the work week, 
if you don't have kids going to school and you don't have to carpool, good for you. But if you do have to get back to the grind, keep in mind, we're going to be dealing with some very thick, patchy fog in the morning. So give yourself some extra time. Meteorologist Rick Catsby, he'll be in tracking exactly where that fog is. Right now, it's looking where it's going to, it looks like it's going to stay where we did pick up just a little bit of rain in northwest Arkansas. Temperatures, like I said, start to get better, Nate, Jen. And actually, it doesn't take too much to beat today's forecast, does it? I mean, it was just so overcast and dreary. I call it one of those Eeyore days. It looks like the clouds just want to follow you around all day long and like it's just going to pour down on you at any moment. Well, we barely took in any rain, just one one hundredths of an inch today. And the good news is we don't have any more rain chances until after Thanksgiving. Black Friday, unfortunately, does look like we could see some spotty showers. So we'll keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, Thanksgiving, yeah, give thanks for that forecast. It is looking fantastic. All right, thanks, Melissa. Appreciate it. Uh, Hoops team earning a W tonight in their game against Indiana. A breakdown of the game coming up in your Pictro Nation report. Washington Regional is here for you. Learn more at WRegional.com. Things better than Black Friday sale with the largest selection and discount we have ever offered. Driftwood queen bed and nightstand, two seventy-seven. Solid wood TV consoles from two forty-nine. Wood and metal bar stools starting at two for seventy-seven dollars. Power reclining sofa and love seat, nine ninety-eight. Traditional rocker recliners, one eighty-eight. Now through Black Friday at Hanks, fine furniture. Every day I meet wonderful people who feel helpless, pain, and even embarrassment to the point that they feel like they've lost control of their lives because of their smile. If this sounds like you, I want you to know that you're not alone. I make this dedication to you that you will get to experience the confidence and the joy that a smile can bring to your life. With Sedation Dentistry, we can help you change your smile so that you can change your life. Joe here at Sam's Furniture, and I'm always telling you what a great place this is, but today I'm going to let our customers tell you what they think. Hey, excuse me, what do you like most about Sam's Furniture? Well, I love the selection. Y'all really have something for everyone. We love your prices. You guys don't play games. You sell it cheap. I love their customer service. Sam's truly cares, and I feel it. Hey, sir, what do you love most about Sam's Furniture? This place is fun. Well, this place is fun. Get it at Sam's. Fayetteville, high on the hill. This is your Pick Trail Nation report, sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. A hoops doubleheader today at Bud Walton Arena. The Arkansas men hosting Indiana for the first time in program history. A team coming off a big win over ranked Marquette earlier in the week. So how did the Hogs fare? Well, let's head here to the first half. Freshman Isaiah Joe. Driving towards the basket, gets the jumper to fall. Arkansas down 11 and 9 at that point. Daniel Gafford down low, throws it down. 17 14, Arkansas early in the first. Joe, again, so easy, so smooth from the wing. Arkansas up 24 20. Gabe Boys Aboyan coming off the bench right before the half, hits the three. That gives Arkansas a three point advantage at the break. Second half, Joe, another three. He had three on the night, 13 total points for Joe. Gafford underneath, deadly. A throwdown, that's going to make it 45 35. Arkansas, Indiana, though, not going away. Up one, Gafford, the jumper, puts Arkansas back on top. I tell you, it was a back and forth battle down the stretch. Romeo Langford keeping the Hoosiers in it. 22 points for him. That's going to tie it 69 69. And then the Hogs with a three point lead. Rob Finsky with the three tied at 72 72. So Indiana can win here, but they can't get the ball to go into the basket. Mason Jones, the rebound, the foul. So with 2.5 seconds on the clock, Mason Jones hits his first uh, free throw to make it 73 72. Misses the second one. 
on purpose. So Indiana has no time to try to drive it down the court. Arkansas winning 73-72 tonight against Indiana. Huge win for the Razorbacks. With more on the win, here's Drew Ammon and Mike Irwin. Well, you'd have to say this was as good as advertised. A one-point victory for the Arkansas Razorbacks. They're second on the season. You think back to that heartbreaker against Texas. That was a regular season opener. Again, Arkansas moving on at 2-1 and one now on the season. We're young. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. You know, some young teams might panic in this situation. But what we did, we came together as a team. I like the pressure. But the second shot, Coach A told me just to miss it. Make sure you get a good miss. I didn't think it was going to be that good of a miss. But, you know, we got the win. Mike Irwin, our senior analyst, joins us. And, well, at least there was something positive this weekend when you look at the fact that football was so brutal yesterday, today. A great day to be an Arkansas Ridgeback if you're an Arkansas Ridgeback basketball player and as far as the fan base in general. But look late there and talk to me about the uh, foul that was called. You know, Archie Miller thought it was a 50-50 ball. Your thoughts there? Well, Mason Jones said it hit me in the face, so maybe he needed to be out there and let it hit him in the face, and then he would think it was a foul. Look, they won this game with uh, good defense uh, in the first half, and then maybe the first three or four minutes of the second half, I think they got tired. But then at that point, after they blew that 10-point lead, three different times Indiana took the lead, and all three times Gafford came back and scored. He grew up tonight. I mean, he became... Uh, what he said he came back for. A lot of people think, well, maybe he came back to better his NBA stock. He came back to win, and they don't win without him. I think we were talking, and if this game goes to overtime, he's gas. So he was huge tonight. Absolutely. You know, and you mentioned the defense for Arkansas because, you know, against Marquette, IU shot 64%. That was the best percentage of any team coached by Archie Miller in his time as a head coach. And today, 47% roughly for the Hoosiers. From Bud Walton Arena, Mike Irwin, Drew Ammon, Alyssa, back to you. All right, guys. Guys, thanks. Earlier in the week, Mike Neighbor said Sunday night's game against 22nd ranked Arizona State was going to be a battle. He wasn't wrong. The women looking to start the year 3 and 0. First quarter, Alexis Tolfrey. The drive to the basket, the finish. The Razorbacks trail at that point 8 to 2 early. Seven minutes left in the first half. Atiana Golden working inside makes it 8 to 6 Arizona State. Back to Tolfrey here from the wing. This time knocking down the triple. Razorbacks down one at this point. Malcolm Monk driving, drawing the contact, gets the roll and one. Arkansas trails 19 12 after one quarter. They, uh, Arizona State led 29 25 at the break. And look at the final. Arkansas not backing down. Every time Arizona State would try to pull away, Arkansas would answer, but unfortunately falling in this one, 88-85, the final in favor of the Sun Devils. Next up for the men, Montana State on Wednesday. The women play Tennessee State on Friday in the Music City Challenge. That's going to do it for your Pig Trail Nation report. Have a great Sunday. All right, thanks, Alyssa. A day of remembrance across the country. How the Fayetteville Square was lit up by something besides the holiday lights. Toyota-thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Toyota Thon is on. Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months, plus a $1,500 special edition bonus on a new 2019 Tundra Special Edition. Tis the season. Toyota Thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with our new country fried turkey. It's a brand new take on a festive favorite, hand breaded and fried till crispy and topped with holiday herb gravy. It's only a Cracker Barrel, so come on home for the holidays. Reynolds Kitchens has eliminated plastic wrap frustration for good. To celebrate, award winner Jeff Russo composed the world's shortest victory song. Yes. This is the good stuff. What do you get the person that loves to tailgate? How about a new tailgate? This year turned Black Friday into Buick Friday with special deals on Buick's three SUVs. Get over 4,700 total value on this 2018 Buick Encore or get 5,500 total value when you finance through GM Financial. You're watching KNWA News at 10.
In Fayetteville tonight, advocates for the transgender community remember those in our area who have died from violence and suicide. Northwest Arkansas locals joined others across the nation for Transgender Remembrance Day. Last year, 29 transgender people died from anti-transgender violence, the most ever recorded. Locals like Lisa Stewart from the Transgender Equality Network says, while tonight was about mourning the loss of loved ones, it's a time to remind people of what they're fighting for. I think it's important to raise awareness and let people know what's happening because the numbers speak for themselves and the more people that come together to show their support and the more people we can reach, just the better things are going to be for all of us. The ceremony started with a candlelight vigil walk throughout the square and ended with a reading of the names of the transgender men and women who died this year.